Hey guys, Tiptesh here, back with another video. Now, I've seen people who have uh, told me not to recommend, you know, Lenovo laptop or Asus laptop or Acer laptop because they say that the laptops have become slow. Now, those people who don't know much about computers or about storage and, you know, about the nitty gritty things, they think that the laptop, that their laptop, which has become slow is because of the brand. So they think that Lenovo's laptop becomes slow after a few years or they think that Asus laptop becomes slow after a few years. So most of them, you know, they blame the slowness of the laptop on the brand or on the processor. So guys, let me make things clear for you. Here's a simple analogy. For example, you have a sports bike or a sports car and instead of using high performance uh, fuel on that car, you're using a simple regular fuel and you're complaining that the lap that your car or your bike is not reaching its advertised performance. Now guys, that's the same thing in case of laptops also. Even if you have a 64 core 128 threads Ryzen Threadripper 3990X, and if you pair that with a slow 5400 RPM uh, hard drive, even then your performance, your system will be very slow and your CPU utilization will be very less. That's because the storage medium which you're using that is a hard disk is very very slow and the cpu is just waiting for the hard drive to catch up that's why your cpu utilization is very slow and your system becomes very slow in order to improve this thing what you can use is you can use a faster storage and this is where we use something like an ssd so guys remember it's not the brand or the processor which makes your system slow it's more it's more because of the slow hard drive, the slow storage which you're using. So in this video, I will demonstrate you the difference it makes when you upgrade your storage to an SSD. All right, let's get going. So this is the Lenovo IdeaPad 330. This laptop was purchased two years back on Flipkart Big Billion Day. It has the Intel Core i5-8250U, which has four cores and eight threads, eight GB of DDR4 RAM in single channel, and a dedicated NVIDIA MX150 graphics with 2GB of GDDR5 video memory. All these specs for a really good price of 36,000 rupees. Yes, it's hard to believe since these days it's impossible to find any Intel Core i5 quad core laptop below 37,000 rupees. And even if you get such a deal, it would probably have only 4GB of RAM and forget about getting any dedicated graphics. 2018's Flipkart Big Billion Day really had some awesome offers. If you are a long time viewer of this channel, you would know I made a review of this laptop and it was one of the most viewed videos on this channel and it is one of the turning points for this channel. Go back and watch that video, link in the description. It's really terrible in terms of audio as I didn't even have a mic back then. I praised this laptop for its awesome performance and value for money but I did say in that review that the laptop would become really slow in the future as it only has a hard drive and it also doesn't have any M.2 slot which most laptops have these days and indeed it has become very slow now. So you already saw the boot up times which sometimes takes even around 40 to 50 seconds for the whole desktop to finish loading. The windows animations are also very choppy and it takes ages to load browsers like Chrome and Firefox as you can see here. The performance is there but the storage medium has become a big bottleneck. So let's try and revive this laptop and give it a breath of new life. After the whole upgrade process, I'll show you the improvements at the end of the video. So for this we need two things, the SSD and a caddy. So let's take a look into the SSD first. I chose the Crucial BX500 120GB SATA 3 SSD in a 2.5 inch form factor. Now most SSDs exist in either the 2.5 inch form factor or the M.2 form factor. The most common interface type for these SSDs can be SATA 3 or PCI NVMe. The PCI NVMe is much more faster and it's also more expensive but SATA 3 is fast enough for most casual use and costs a lot less. Also depending on the price you are willing to spend and the performance you wish to seek, you can choose from underlying technologies like SLC, MLC, QLC, TLC and PLC. This budget BX500 has 64 layer 3D TLC NAND cache. Yes, it has TLC instead of the cheap QLC. But to keep the price low at 1950 rupees, they have not included any DRAM chip. So the BX500 can handle about 21 gigabyte of read write every day for the next five years, which is good enough if you're looking for an extremely cheap SSD. And this one comes with three years of warranty. Okay, now unscrew the bottom of the laptop and pull out the dummy DVD drive. and attach the SSD to the caddy by lining up the ports.
peel the plastic and use the screws to secure the SSD. At this point you could simply slide the caddy in but in my case the caddy was not lining up with the SATA connector inside so I had to remove the whole bottom of the laptop which was a huge pain in the butt. And as soon as I removed the bottom I had cobwebs on my hand. Seriously just look at the dust build up inside the laptop. The dust clogs the CPU fan and the vents which results in overheating. So always clean your laptop every 6 to 8 months. Before connecting the caddy, since I had already removed the back, we decided to clean it a little bit. Okay, now with a little bit of force, I lined up the connectors and pushed it in. I used a safety pin to directly boot into the BIOS to confirm that the SSD was detected. At this point you could just simply reinstall windows or clone your C drive. I always prefer to reinstall. Just make sure to install the windows on the SSD and there is no need to format anything now. Your current C drive will become your D drive and nothing will be deleted. Whatever you need to format you can do it later. Before showing the real world perceptible speed differences, check out the objective read and write speed difference between the SSD and the HDD. The difference is huge. So after installing windows on the SSD, just see how fast the laptop boots up despite me messing up the password. Also I am able to launch softwares like Chrome and Mozilla as soon as I get into the desktop. I am able to launch multiple apps at the same time like Chrome, Mozilla, Microsoft PowerPoint, Word, Epic Game Store, Steam, etc. and the laptop keeps up very well. Also task switching animations have become very smooth.
So whatever software you'll install on the SSD will load up twice as fast. Just see how much faster Filmora is able to load up on the SSD. Whereas on the hard drive it took so long that I didn't even bother to show you. Truly an SSD is the best upgrade that you can do to your system. It truly makes a perceptible speed difference. Alright guys, that's for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share and subscribe to this channel. Also turn on the notification bell icon. And I'm Ditesh and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.